You know, when you think of the greatest scientific discoveries, things like penicillin or the electron microscope, you usually picture them being invented in the last couple hundred years. But what if I told you the first battery wasn't invented in the 1800s, but over 2,000 years ago? It all started in 1938 when archaeologists in Iraq uncovered a small clay jar with a copper cylinder and an iron rod inside. At first glance, it looked ordinary, but under the right conditions, so did Nikola Tesla. But just like Tesla, this artifact turned out to be much more than it seemed. We now know that this artifact, called the Baghdad Battery, dates back to the Parthian or Sasanian period, somewhere between 850 BC and 650 AN AD. And, based on the scientific analysis, we also know that if you were to fill it with an acidic liquid like vinegar or lemon juice, it would produce a tiny electric current. But here's the real question. Why would ancient people need electricity? There are a lot of theories. Some believe it was used for electroplating jewelry, while others think it may have had medicinal purposes. A few even claim it was part of ancient rituals. Maybe they were trying to summon the gods, you know, with the proper incantations and a lightning rod. Okay, probably not that one. However, not everyone agrees. Many experts argue that it could have just been a storage jar, and the electrical effect was just a coincidence. I mean, you gotta admit, it does look kind of like a jar. I personally am more of a believer. Still, there's no solid proof of its real purpose, which is kind of the point. If this really is the world's first battery, then it would push back the timeline of human electrical knowledge by nearly two millennia, long before Benjamin Franklin was conducting his famous kite experiments. It just goes to show there's still so much we don't know about the world, even if it's right in front of our faces. Just think about all the incredible discoveries that have been made in the last 100 years, from the discovery of penicillin to the invention of the Internet. Who knows what the next 100 years will bring? Maybe we'll discover the meaning of life or find a way to stop avocados from turning brown. A guy can dream, can't he? Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think the Baghdad battery was actually a battery, or do you have another theory? Let me know in the comments below. And, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun science facts. All right, see ya.